good Christmas, Adam. Yes, it is still the day before Christmas Eve. It is currently 9 p.m. And that's my girl Maureen in the background. I'll put her video link down. She's having a Christmas live and I'm listening to it while I cook. This right here is going to be the filling for my um, pizza pockets. And what this is, is one 14 and a half ounce can of my Thrive Market Organic Fire Roasted Diced Tomatoes. Um, one 29 ounce of tomato sauce. And one 6 ounce can of my Azure Market tomato paste. After I got that nice and hot and all of that mixed together, I added a tablespoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of Celtic salt, and a teaspoon of black pepper. I then added one entire packet chopped into small pieces of the pepperoni, the turkey pepperoni, just a minute. Apparently I threw away the empty one, but it's Hormel turkey pepperoni, and it's five ounces. So I chopped that up into half and then chopped it into little pieces, as big or little as you want. And two pounds of chopped, cooked, well browned, ground meat. And that has one yellow pepper, one red pepper in it. And this is seasoned with more garlic and Italian seasoning. I did put a tablespoon and a half of um, Italian seasoning in this. And I put one and a half cups of shredded mozzarella. It may have been two cups, I'm not sure. Um, it's whatever I had left that was already shredded and it looked more like two cups So now we're just letting this melt and then I'm going to fill my pie crust with this glorious mixture After after I fill it, I'm going to brush it with some seasoned butter and This is salted butter. So I did not put any more salt in it um, but it already has a teaspoon of granulated garlic and a teaspoon of onion powder. And half will have seasoning, the Italian seasoning on it, but my other, my youngest two daughters do not like the Italian seasoning on top because it freaks them out. Don't know why. So after we do half of the pie or half of the mixture, um, into the pies I'll add some all right so you should fill it about that much and now we're gonna put the lid on all right so we've got them put together the top and the bottom you want to put slits in it so it doesn't explode and then you want to put take a fork and squish down the sides so that your stuff don't come out You might have to put that in butter. <laughs> Anyways, make little fork indentions all along the edges to keep it kind of sealed in there. Don't get it so close to the edge like I just did. There we go. Now, what I forgot to tell you about the butter is I always put at least a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese on top of it. Or in it, sorry, in it. And stir that around real good. Then you take your little brush. Make sure you get that goodness on there. There you go. 
Now, sometimes this would probably be a lot easier if I put it on a separate pan and did the edges, and I think that's what I'm going to do, and I'll be right back. Oh, and don't forget to preheat your oven to 375. That's important. Alright, so, the pizza pies, calzones, pizza pockets, whatever you want to call them, were done on two 9-inch pie crust. You saw how I cut them, you saw how I folded them over, and all that. They're in the oven, 375, and I'm going to put them on there for... Oh. oh, I already did. I put them in there for 10 minutes originally. <laughs> 12 minutes originally. Sorry. My daughter came out. She's supposed to be in bed and smelled pizza, so she thought she needed to have a bite. And I'm like, no, those are tomorrow's. There is our pork roast. And it's on low, so it'll probably be going for a few more hours. Um, the beef roast is still in the oven. It's still just really tough. Um, I got it on as low as I can get it with also doing the pizzas and everything else. So hopefully it'll, I don't know, tender up. <laughs> so I'll be back when the pizzas are done. So, I'm back, and it took 25 minutes in the oven, but the pizza pockets finally got done. They do look a little burnt around the edges, but that's just where some of the stuff came out. Um, they're perfectly good inside, and they're not burnt on the bottom, so that's all that matters. Uh, I'm going to let these cool so I can pack them up, and that will be lunch or dinner one day this week. So, it is currently 10.14 p.m. on the day before Christmas Eve, Christmas Adam, because it comes before Eve, and I'm just done. I wish I was done. I still have the pork roast going, and I have to get the beef roast out of the oven. So, hopefully my day will end very soon. Y'all have a good one. I'll see you in the next one.